What's up guys, Felix here, co-founder at Stack Optimize. We're a GTM engineering agency sending over a million emails a month for some of the world's best B2B businesses. In this video, I am gonna be breaking down how we are creating creative copy on behalf of a branding agency. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. First thing I'm gonna show here is the templates themselves. We actually created 12 different templates for this client. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna be walking through two of them. So we have two different templates on this Google Doc here, and I'm just gonna start by reading each one of them out. The first one is called Creative, and we're using a little bit more AI in this one to uh, approach it with more of a creative angle, more of a unique angle with lots of personalization in them. So the template is a fully populated template using the company Apollo.io as the example prospect. So it says, Felix, if I had to imagine the perfect brand for Apollo, here's what it would look like. Just like Google is synonymous with search, Apollo becomes synonymous with sales tech. While Outreach, Gong, and Zoom Info all blur together, Apollo stands apart, instantly recognizable, undeniably different. Whenever a CRO thinks about upgrading their tech stack, Apollo is the first name that comes to mind. These are the kind of outcomes we obsess over for our SaaS clients, some of which have been with us for over 15 years because of it. We're a small senior hands-on team led by industry veterans, and we do it all without the inflated London agency fees. Keen to show you the exact steps we take to get those perfect outcomes if we had the keys to the brand for the next six months best Laura. Template number two is called case study stacking. The title is a bit of a giveaway. It's pretty self-explanatory. In this template, we are going to be just stacking it with case studies and social proof. So again, it is tailored to Apollo.io as the prospect. Felix, sales tech is a crowded space and building a truly standout brand takes deep industry expertise and a hands-on collaborative approach. On the off chance you're open to a brand refresh, here are a few examples of work we've done for other SaaS businesses. And then we'll insert case study one, two, and three. We're a small but senior team of, of 18 creatives focused on delivering premium work without the hefty price tag. To re-emphasize making top tier creative genuinely affordable is core to how we work. It's a big reason we've retained some clients for 15 plus years worth a quick chat. So, so the logic behind these two templates, it's pretty simple. Template number two, case study stacking. We are saying, this is what we do. This is who we've done it for. These are the results we've got. Can we do the same for you? More of a traditional classic style email template. Template number one, it's more of an edgy email, something a bit more unusual, pattern interrupting, and we're layering in a ton of personalization here. What we're also doing with email number one here is we're creating a bit of a narrative. We're telling them, we're taking them basically from A to B, B being kind of the gold standard of making them the number one business in their specific niche. In this case, making Apollo the number one brand in sales tech. Some of the personalization that we're generating with AI here, of course, we are pulling through the uh, category that the company is in, sales tech. We're listing a number of their competitors here in line three. We are naming their ideal customer profile. In Apollo's case, that's CROs. Um, another personalization line here, when a CRO thinks about grading their tech stack, obviously this will be personalized dependent on the persona and the product. Uh, line five here. Uh, we're specifically saying these are the types of outcomes we generate for SaaS businesses. So the industry here would change depending on which industry the uh, prospect is in. And then the final two lines here are standardized based on some USPs of our branding agency. All right, so now we've gone over the templates. We're going to walk through the clay table that we use to build these out for thousands of leads at scale. So uh, in this clay workbook, we are using two different tables. And this is generally the approach we take to building out campaigns inside of clay. Two tables. First one is for qualification. The second one is for enrichment. So we're looking at table one here, qualification. We've imported a list of leads. These are marketing decision makers at various companies, and we've imported them into our qualification table. So first thing we want to do is actually just qualify that these are the right types of individuals that we want to be reaching out to whenever we scrape Apollo. We're never going to get 100% accurate data. It's going to sometimes pull in leads that aren't quite the right job title or aren't quite from the right space. So what I'm doing here first is I'm just using AI to check the job title of all of the leads in my table and just confirm that they are actually the right types of personas that I want to reach out to. I'm not going to read this whole prompt, but you can pause the video and copy and paste it for yourself. Uh, I'm doing a second layer of qualification here, and that is to, again, just qualify that these are the right types of companies I can be reaching out to. So my branding agency that I'm working with they don't want to be reaching out to other marketing agencies, for example. Uh, 
They can't sell to recruitment agencies. It's not really a niche that they work in. Education is also not really a niche that they touch as well. So again, we're just getting the AI to qualify that these are not those companies. And if they're not, we're disqualifying them. If they are, we're marking them as qualified and then moving them through to the next step in the table. That step being uh, finding verified contact data, email addresses specifically. So we're running an email waterfall. In this case, we're just using two providers, ICPs, and Prospio, and we're double validating all of those emails, firstly with Reune, and then we're verifying the catch all email addresses with Bounceback. Highly recommend doing double verification, especially using a standard email verifier and a catch all verifier. It's just gonna massively increase your email coverage using Bounceback as well as Reune, we get an additional kind of 20, 30% verified emails. So we have our final verified uh, email column here, and then we are pushing those verified emails to our next table, which is our enrichment table. And in this table, we're gonna conduct further research on our prospects and uh, the companies that they work for. We're gonna segment our leads based on industry. We're gonna pull in additional data and context and then use all of that information to craft our personalized messages with AI. So a couple of things that we are doing in this table. First and foremost, we're generating a subject line. Some good tricks for a subject line is you want to, it's a great opportunity to just add some easy personalization and pique curiosity. Your goal with the subject line is basically just to get someone to open the email. Once they open the email, your email itself should do the talking. So with a subject line, you want it to be intriguing, be personalized, and try and craft it in a way that would just genuinely grab the attention of your prospect. So one trick we always use is to reference competitors of the prospect's company in the subject line. So in this case, our subject line, we're basically just saying the company's, the prospect's company name, followed by two of their competitors, Medinet, Concept Care Solutions, Eden Clinical Services. Nudge, Pay Active, Brightside, Notion, Slack, ClickUp. And this is quite effective because it's also pretty industry agnostic. You can kind of roll this out for any company. Next thing we're doing is qualifying on the industry. So the reason I wanted to do this is because this particular branding agency, they specialize in a few different industries and they have different case studies for each industry. So we wanted to make sure when we're reaching out to these uh, prospects and we're referencing those case studies, each case study is as relevant as possible to what the prospects company does. So in order to do that, we're using a pretty simple AI prompt to categorize the companies based on some industry criteria that we are gonna define. I've also skipped an important step here in the, before we've done any of this, we've generated a comprehensive summary of what the company does. And this is pretty standard, uh, pretty standard approach that we'll take whenever we build our clay tables. We wanna have a single block of text, which is just a summary of what the company does, their products and services, who they sell to. In this case, it is more contextual in the sense that we are also including information about their current brand, brand initiatives, brand strategy. And that way we have a summary of the company that we can just constantly reference for any other enrichments we wanna do in the table. Um, one of them being categorizing these leads based on the industry that they are in. So I'll just show you what that prompt looks like. The branding agency that we work with specializes in a couple of different industries, specifically travel, health, charity, utilities, telecommunications, SaaS, physical security product, defense, general technology. And in each of those cases, we are writing a small description of what we mean by that industry. And then the AI is basically gonna take the research summary that we generated previously and validate whether or not that company fits into any of our industry categories. We've also added a section in here that if it does not, it's just gonna output no match. If it does, of course, it's gonna output the title of the industry. Now that we have that information, we can then pair these companies with the relevant case studies from the industry. We're doing that with a simple formula here. So we're basically saying, if company category output is health, output all of the relevant healthcare case studies that we have. If the industry category is SaaS, output all of the SaaS case studies that we have and so on and so forth. And that was all of the information that we required to build out these email templates. Then to create the copy, we are using Claude for our copy. We always use Claude. If you followed us for uh, any amount of time now, you will know that. And the template we walked through in the Google Doc template one was in my table here, cold email three. So I'm gonna show you the prompt. And this is how we structure our copywriting when we're prompting Claude. First and foremost, we give kind of an introduction to the task at hand. We will then give an example of the email template. 
uh, including basically placeholders for our personalization. We'll then give a second email template, this time an example of what the template looks like when it's populated for a specific company. We gave the example of Apollo, same as what was on the Google Doc, and then we apply some general guidelines, things like don't include M dashes, don't include subject lines, just the email body, some instructions around the tone, et cetera, et cetera. And finally, we give the inputs for the AI of this specific prospect, including their first name, company name, uh, their competitors, and that company description that we generated as well. And so we can now check out some of these outputs. Let's have a look here. Emma, uh, Emma, if I had to imagine the perfect brand for Simpson Associates, here's what it would look like. Just like Google is synonymous with search, Simpson Associates becomes synonymous with data transformation. While Ganarsoft, UST, and Happiest Minds all blur together, Simpson Associates stands apart, instantly recognizable, undeniably different. Whenever a CTO thinks about modernizing their data infrastructure, Simpson Associates is the first name that comes to mind. So the bulk of the personalization was in those first sections there, and it seems like the AI has done a good job in that case. We can check a couple more here. Colin, if I had to imagine the perfect brand for Intent HQ, here's what it would look like. Just like Google is synonymous with search, Intent HQ becomes synonymous with privacy first AI analytics. Well, Stark Data, Fantix, and Telescope all blur together. Intent HQ stands apart. Da -da -da -da. Whatever a chief data officer thinks about customer intelligence platforms, Intent HQ is the first name that comes to mind. Nice. We can check a few more just to see the formatting is right. Awesome. Looks like it has done the right job here. Now with the case studies email, we actually took a slightly different approach and we created unique campaigns for each of the different industries. So actually we use this as more of a segmentation strategy. And so if the industry category was SaaS, we specifically rooted the lead to a SaaS case study stacking campaign. And we actually built that out in Smiley. We didn't use too much AI personalization for that. Um, and then same with all of the other industries, they all got unique campaigns in Smart Lead. And again, most of the copy was created inside of Smart Lead. We didn't use a ton of AI personalization. The, the real goal here was just to segment the campaigns by industry so that we could make sure we are presenting the most relevant industries to each of the leads in our table. And that is the end of today's video, guys. I hope there's been some useful nuggets for you on how you can think about creating copy specifically for a branding agency and how you can get creative and hyper-personalized with your copy using tools like Clay and AI. If you're looking to upskill in this space, we have built out the world's first GTM engineering course where we teach this stuff end-to-end. -end. There's over seven hours of content, a ton of downloadable and tangible resources, and you'll also be added to our Slack community for support from the Stack Optimized team. Or if you want us to build out these systems for you, you can book a call through my calendar link. All of the resources will be in the description below. Thanks a lot.